Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the luminous Tree of Life necklace. And we're going to use these Peridot four millimeter crystals, a two inch eye pin, the sterling silver Tree of Life charm, a four millimeter jump ring, this 16 inch sterling silver chain, and I'll need a pair of side cutters, a pair of round nose pliers, and two flat nosed pliers. So it's quite a nice easy make and we're going to start with our eye pin. So I'm just going to hold the eye pin in my left hand and supporting the neck of the eye pin here and with a pair of flat nose pliers I'm just going to get hold of the side of the eye pin and with one swift movement I'm just going to lift my hand upwards to open the eye pin. Onto this, so I've not let go with my left hand, I'm going to attach the really nice sterling charm. It's going to hang over my fingers here and then that way it's not getting in the way when I want to close the eye pin back together. So I take my flat nose pliers again and I'm just going to close that back together. So that's all joined up again. So now onto the eye pin, you can either string one crystal, or if you wish, add three onto there. That'll only just give you a longer pendant length. As I'm a big fan of the crystals, I think I'm gonna go for three on this one. The next step then is to take the round nose pliers and to make our loop. So I'm going to position the pliers directly above the last bead, so the last crystal here. With my right hand and a nice firm grip on the pliers, I'm going to start the process of making my loop here. So you're going to push the pin away from you at a 90 degree angle, so that's step one. And then step two, I'm going to release my grip and I'm going to move the pliers on top. Then I want to bring the head pin, sorry, the eye pin, over the top of the pliers and down to the mat. So you'll see we're starting to form a nice hook shape here. The pliers come out and then we're going to put them so the plier goes into the loop and one prong on top. This is going to support, support it while I wrap the wire round. So nice tight grip and I'm just going to take the wire underneath the pliers and you can be quite firm here, you're going to wrap the rest around and as you do you want to make a firm little spiral shape downwards so that the wire doesn't wrap onto itself. You then want to take your pliers out and you should have a nice neat loop and the wrap of wire. Use your side cutters and I use the smooth edge to get as close in to the loop and we're going to take that excess wire away. On this occasion I've got a little tiny lip of wire so if you get that don't worry you can use your flat nose pliers and just gently if you have one of those, tease that in because you don't want any scratchy ends on, on your finished jewellery. So that's the little loop all finished and all smooth. Now we want to attach this to the chain. So I'm going to use the flat nose pliers again and I'm going to hold one side of my jump ring. I like to work with two pairs of pliers here and I'm going to use another pair of flat nose pliers on the opposite side and then what I'm going to do is with my right hand I'm going to bring that towards me to open the jump ring. This way when I close it back it'll go back exactly and there'll be no gap. So you just want to firmly pull that forward, pop that pair down, hook your charm onto the open jump ring 
and also your sterling chain. And then we're just going to close that jump ring exactly the way we opened it but in reverse and that way it can make sure there's no gaps here. And that is the beautiful luminous tree of life charm on the sterling silver.